Hello everybody, I'm Aurelio De Rosa and I want to welcome you to Introduction to Bower. In this screencast you will learn what Bower is and what is it good for, how to install Bower, what a package is, how to search a package and finally how to install, update and delete a package. To use Bower you only need three things. Node.js, a Git client, and a command line interface. So, what is Bower? Bower, whose logo is this nice bird, was created at Twitter and released it in 2012. Since its release, a lot of great developers have contributed to turn it into one of the most well known front end tools today. Bower is defined as a package manager for the web which means that Bower is a dependency manager for JavaScript, CSS and much more, like web fonts. To install Bower, open your command line interface and type npm install dash g Bower. A package can be a JavaScript library, a CSS file, an iconic web font, a framework, a jQuery plugin, or anything else that the author wants to expose as a third-party component for a web project. Some examples of packages are jQuery, jQuery UI, Normalize CSS, Reset CSS, Bootstrap, AngularJS, and much more. Bower defines a manifest file called Bower.json which provides information about the project, such as the project name, the authors and the version, and the packages used. Bower JSON is a file written using the JSON format and is particularly useful if you are using a version control system like Git and Subversion. It can be created either manually or using the command Bower init. Let's now see how we can install and initialize a project with Bower. Create a new folder on your desktop and name it project. Now open up the command line interface, which for my commodity I already have on my desktop, and type npm install dash g Bower and then press enter. Doing so, Bower will be installed on your machine. Depending on the hardware of your machine, your internet connection, the process can take up to a few minutes, but usually it's pretty fast. Once done, move the current directory of the command line to the new created folder using the command cd desktop slash project and press enter. We are now ready to initialize the project using Bower, so type the command Bower init and then press enter. The tool will ask you some information about the project you want to create, such as its name, the version, a description, and a bit more. If you want to change the default value of a property, write it and then press enter, otherwise just press enter. In this example, we'll always use the default values, but remember that you can change this information at any time editing the file Bower JSON that is created by the process. If you want, open the folder once the process is completed to confirm that the file has been created. So, at the moment, just press enter. Now the process is completed and we can see that inside the project folder, the tool has created a file called Bower.json. Now that Bower is installed on the machine, let's see how we can search a package. To search a package with Bower, open your command line interface and type Bower, search and the package name. For example, Bower, search, jQuery or Bower, search, bootstrap. Before you install a package, you have to decide if the dependency is useful in production or for development purposes only. To install a package as a production dependency, type on the command line interface Bower, install, the package name, dash dash save. 
For example, bower install jQuery dash dash c. This command creates a folder called bower components, downloads the package required, in this case jQuery, and places it inside the folder. It also updates the bower JSON file by adding the package in the dependencies section. To install a package only needed in development, for example a unit testing framework, type on the command line interface bower install the package name dash dash save dash dev, for example bower install cuunit dash dash save dash dev. This command is the same as before, but this time the package is added to the dev dependencies section. Let's now see how we can install jQuery as a production dependency for our demo project. Open the command line interface and move the current directory to the project folder. Now tap the command bower install jQuery dash dash save and press enter. You can see that bower is downloading the last version available of jQuery. Once done, the Bower Components folder will be created. Inside it, you will find the jQuery folder, which in turn contains the jQuery library that you can now include in your HTML pages. From time to time, you want to check that the dependency of a project is up to date. To update a package, open your command line interface and type bower update and the package name for example bower update jQuery in case you want to update all the dependencies of a project with a single command you can type bower update the needs of a project can change over the time it happens that the dependency is not needed anymore so we want to delete it to delete a package using bower Open your command line interface and type bower uninstall the package name and then the option, which means dash dash save or dash dash save dash dev. For example, to delete the jQuery library that was used in production, you have to type bower uninstall jQuery dash dash save. So, to wrap up, Bower is a great tool to easily manage the dependencies of a project. It can speed up your workflow by automating some tedious manual processes. I hope you like it and that you will employ Bower in your next project. If you want to discuss about Bower or anything else, get in touch with me using my email address a.derosa at audero.it or on Twitter. Bye-bye.